Okay, so let's start about reference images um, and the best sort of practices in gathering them. You can use a variety of methods. You can drag and drop images directly into Moreau. Um, you can use Photoshop, but one of the better and more convenient, um, because convenience is definitely a factor when it comes to this, is to use a, a program like PureRef. PureRef lets you uh, drag and drop images direct from Google searches. And so it's actually really quite helpful um, in terms of gathering uh, reference images. And again, reference images are key in really establishing the mood, look, feel, style of your, um, your scenes in VR or whatever it is. That you're um, so let's maybe look for uh, some images first and foremost. Hey guys, um, this is a quick tutorial on using PureRef um, for your references. Um, you certainly don't have to use PureRef, but um, it's actually you know pretty good. I, I would recommend you guys use it for your studio projects and things like that. What's nice about it is you can just really um, click and drag images from Google and bring it in. 
Um, what I'm doing is I'm organizing it based on what I want these uh, references to relate to in my scene. And so um, I'll upload some sketches that I did, but um, I'm basically taking my initial totem, um, which is this guy, maybe I'll make this nice and big, right? So this is the starting point of my scene. Um, I can hit control N to add a note. Let's call this. Projected. And so my projected totem is this idea of the university, the institution of Yale becoming um, uh, becoming a city or a citadel, as I'm calling it. And a citadel will be more of a defensive city um, as the totem begins to imply this defensive quality um, that exists within, within Yale, right? So just a very fairly basic, simple idea. Um, the totem becomes like mechanized, and so I'm looking at these little uh, robot type things that will kind of guard the perimeter of the city. There's some images of um, the militarization of, of the police department, um, and then sort of this militarized response to, to a variety of threats. Um, there's some branding and iconography that I'm interested in, because I'm going to start applying this to make sure that when you're in the scene, you know what I'm referring to. Um, there's a climate change component to the scene. So I'm looking at some old maps and some FEMA flood maps and just kind of overlaying them to get a sense of like what direction should the scene be facing or looking. Um, how would I characterize the scene so that it refers back to the city of New Haven? Um, and so using maps and things like that um, could be helpful. Um, there is um, this idea of Yale as Citadel. And so some of the references I'm looking at are looking at like some gates, defensive gates that like portcullises. Um, um, the city of Algiers, I mentioned in class, I watched the Battle of Algiers, which is a really fantastic movie, but I really love these scenes of stairs going up into the Casbah. So I want to incorporate that into my scene. Um, there's Le Corbusier's um, proposal which also kind of serves as this reference in terms of like this defensive wall. Um, and then brutalism seems to be a really good choice for use in this particular project, um, given its relation to us with the School of Architecture, but uh, New Haven in general um, and its um, history um, and the presence of brutalist architecture um, in the city. And then, you know, references like barricades and sort of checkpoints, like, again, referring to um, um, the defensive qualities that are represented in my totem. And I mentioned the sea level rise thing. And so I might start to populate um, the water side of things with some of these elements just to add to the narrative, to give clues as to what's going on um, in the scene. Um, some good things to know in pure ref. Um, control F is full screen. If you want to um, sort of uh, you know, populate the entire monitor um, with your reference image, uh, shift, space, and drag. Is that what it is? Um, so if I grab this and I hold down shift and space, it will snap to the, uh, various corners and edges. Um, so that could be fairly useful. Um, this isn't layout, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, the better way of maybe kind of organizing these images is to use control P, which will repack your images, right? So pack for P um, might be useful uh, uh, as a mnemonic, um, but you wanna kind of pack your images based on the categories and write notes. And I mentioned control N is, um, Access the note function and everything. Space bar will zoom whatever you have selected. Oh, sorry, was I hitting the wrong? So control and click and drag is to rotate. Alt, shift, um, if you drag from the left to right or right to left, reverses the image in case you want to see um, the, the, the flip side of it for whatever reason. Um, I think that's basically it. Um, Control U is the last thing 
um, which takes you into your press screen. And then in the preferences, um, you may want to check this, which embeds the images in the local save file. So it kind of works like um, InDesign where and Illustrator where the images are linked as opposed to um, fully embedded. So if you want the images embedded, make sure that this is checked. That way, when you save your PRF file and move it onto a different computer, the images will follow. Okay, so, you know, this is my gathered images. I'll probably gather some more as I go and, and I set up my scene. I'll start to recognize additional needs or desires. Um, but for now, I think we're good. And so what I'm going to do is right click, say export and export this entire scene. Um, I'm gonna call it Y Citadel 01, or I guess I have 01, so let's call this 02. So I can even start versioning these things as I upload them to Moreau. I might set this close to screen resolution, which is 1920. Um, and then, uh, I can bring the background or not. So if I check this, I think the background will be gray. If I don't check it, the background is just going to be white. I'm totally fine with that. Um, I'm going to hit export, and then that's going to save a PNG file with this entire board, which you can then post on Moreau, and I could look through and maybe um, provide some feedback on. Okay, um, it's not important that you use this particular piece of software. You can start just dragging images into the Moreau board. I will set up a Moreau board just for references and just kind of like a, a workspace um, for us to communicate and for me to provide you with some feedback where I'll start uploading these images as an example. And I'll be running through this example project um, just as a model for you guys to follow in terms of blocking things out in Rhino, bringing them in, which we covered in class, um, and then quickly, quickly checking things out in VR. And I know out in VR, and I'll go through that process in the next video. Okay, thanks guys.